And welcome back to Idaho Today. The Prairigan Fund, it's an amazing nonprofit right here in the Treasure Valley that seeks to inspire us through their conservation efforts of birds of prey. So we have with us Heather. She's here to explain an exciting opportunity through the fund. And Heather, for those who may not be familiar though, explain the Prairigan Fund. Yes, so the Peregrine Fund is the world's leader in uh, raptor conservation or conservation of birds of prey. So we work, we're headquartered here in Boise, Idaho, mm -hmm. but we are, our footprint uh, crosses five continents. Wow, that's yeah. super exciting. And just yesterday, actually, we interviewed the director of a raptor documentary that's coming out on PBS, cool. and we mentioned the World Center for Birds of Prey and Thank the Peregrine Fund. Yes, because, <laughs> I mean, we are so blessed to have that here and little old Boise, Idaho, out of the five continents that you do this incredible global work. Yeah. Um, you also have some really exciting news, though, when it comes to our community here and an investment grant. So tell us about that. Absolutely. So we are very lucky to have a representative in Washington, D.C., looking out for birds of prey here in Idaho and around the country. Uh, it's Representative Mike Simpson, and he championed uh, a community investment grant for us that will allow us to build on our um, oh current, your current property? Oh my, yes, on our current yes, property. Yes, yes, your land, yes. <laughs> I had a moment. <laughs> yes, on our current property uh, so that we can uh, increase our ability to make new condors. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> the biologist would probably kill me for saying it that <laughs> way. <laughs> uh, but that's one of, uh, California condors are one of two endangered yes. raptors in the United States. Um, and those who have been in the community for a long time may remember the recovery effort of the peregrine falcon, yes. uh, which thankfully both the peregrine falcon and the bald eagle uh, were delisted from the U.S. endangered species list, the latter mm -hmm. by former governor Dirk Kempthorne. Some right. people know that, some people don't. Yes. So this investment grant, we've had housing all the way from 30 years ago when that peregrine falcon recovery effort was happening in Boise. And those properties are in need of some help. Uh, right. So thanks to Rep Representative Simpson, we've been able to garner $3.1 million. Oh my goodness. To reinvest in those properties, also reinvest in the road. Uh, we have a one mile road and that's a, a single access point for 50,000 plus visitors to the World Center for Birds of Prey, as well as our critically endangered California condor uh, recovery propagation effort. Um, so it's very exciting. Yeah. No, it's incredibly exciting. I know you guys have been working on an expansion and now you're also gonna have an opportunity to give some of those facilities, like you'd mentioned for the Condor, a little bit of a facelift, right? Yes. Uh, some much needed attention and that road as well to make you more accessible so people can continue their education when it comes to birds of prey and the important work that you're doing in regards to that conservation. I know here for Idaho Today um, and myself, I also have the pleasure of visiting your facility a, a couple of times and taking a look at the efforts that that you're already making when it comes to, uh, you know, to condors as well at your facility. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the hatchlings, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yes, I remember. Job, yes, so, yes. So, so with the breeding program that you have, some of the hatchlings were fathered, if you will, weren't they, by some of the birds or one of the birds from your facility that we saw in Arizona mm -hmm. recently, right? Yep. Yeah, which is super exciting. Yeah. So in the wild, by the way, some of these hatchlings in the wild are related to the efforts that are being done here in Idaho, which is incredibly exciting to hear. Like um, what is supporting the Peregrine Fund, or why is supporting the Peregrine Fund such an important cause here, not only for the state of Idaho, but also for the globe, like you'd mentioned? Yeah, well, we, uh, like I said in the beginning, you know, we are the leading science and conservation organization for birds of prey on a global scale. Mm -hmm. Birds of prey are apex predators, which means when you save a bird of prey, you could save hundreds of species in that uh, ecosystem underneath them. So we, uh, through membership, we have, lot, we have uh, I think over 3,000 members of the Peregrine Fund uh, here in the States and internationally. Uh, and all of that work goes to support so many organizations that we partner with and collaborate with around the world. 
Oh, it's so super exciting. Yeah. And I mean, there are so many raptors to learn about too, right? Yes. I know there's ones that we're exposed to here in the northern part of, of the Americas, but throughout the world, there's just so many incredible uh, avians that are in the raptor family that would just blow your mind to learn about and know about, let alone the ones that we rely on so much here yeah. in Idaho. So a lot for people to learn, a lot for people to support. Where can they go to learn more so they can donate to the Peregrine Fund and also come up to the World Center for Birds of Prey? Let's do both. Yes, yes. let's do both. So if you want to learn more about visiting the Peregrine Fund, go to peregrinefund.org. And you can also, there's an opportunity to donate right there and become a member of the Peregrine Fund and, and help us to achieve si both the science, conservation, and education work that we do here and around the world. Love that. You've managed to save uh, previous raptors, and now we're going to be saving the condor. I know we can do it. You did it once, you can do it again, right? Yes. Yes. All right, everyone, stick around. More to come right here on Idaho Today right after the break. <laughs>